Okay, this video is going to be of the parietal and temporal bone. Okay, so for parietal, it says um, two. This is your parietal so bone. Yeah, there's two. That's your parietal bone. Um, a is going to be uh, temporal lines. Okay, temporal lines. You, you can't really see them from the side. It's like can, the protuberance on the side here. For muscle attachment. It kind of sticks out farther on the side. So that's the temporal, I'm sorry, what? Temporal line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so for the temporal bone, there's going to be two. Okay, so okay. there's two temporal bones. An inferior, and then lateral aspects of cranium and cranial cord. You don't need to read all that. Um, a mastoid process. Okay, mastoid process. Oh, that's better. Okay. B so petrous portion. B petrous portion. Now we're inside the skull. This big part right here. That big part is the petrous portion. C, internal acoustic meatus. C is ex external. Internal. Internal, I'm sorry, internal acoustic meatus. This is cranial nerve 8. And that's where the cranial nerve 8 goes, and on both sides. Okay. D is external acoustic meatus. D is external acoustic meatus. That's where your ear goes. B e is zygomatic process. Okay. Zygomatic process. F is styloid process. Styloid process. And it's those little, actually, let me get a side view on it. Yeah, styloid process. <laughs> the two H spiky things. H is carotid canal. Okay. Carotid canal. Where the internal carotid artery is going to pass through. Why can't I find it? Remember, it should be, be somewhere like the middle, right? Yeah. Isn't it that one? Or is it this one? I think it's. Okay, hold on. Oh, I see it. It's the middle one. So it's this one. Okay, so carotid canal. The jugular foramen. Okay. The big one right there. So jugular foramen. Wait, turn it this way a little bit. No, this way. Okay. So jugular foramen was right. It's right underneath the carotid. And um, for that one, cranial nerves um, nine, ten, and eleven okay. are going to pass through, and the internal jugular vein. So cranial nerves nine, ten, and eleven, and the jugular vein. Um, stylomastoid foramen. Stylomastoid foramen is right underneath the stylate process. And let me zoom in. It's going to be cranial nerve number seven that's going to pass through there. And cranial nerve number seven goes into there, passes through there. Uh, mandibular fossa. Okay. Well, that's like where, yeah. Mandibular fossa. <laughs> and it's going to be articulate with... Um, Condyloid process. Let me see that other skull. It looks better on that one. Okay, we're gonna switch this it This part. Yeah, it's just the, it's not this. It's like the smooth part where it sits. Okay, so that's I'm sorry, the what? Mandible mandibular fossa, and it's gonna mandibular um, fossa. It's gonna articulate with the condyloid process to, of the mandible to form the temporal mandibular joint. So it makes it joins with the mandible. Do you see it? The connection, right? Put it back, right? there and that connection forms a joint which you can't see on that skull but you can see it on this one and, it's a temporal and that's the joint the little plasticky thing that they glued on there okay um temporal squama i'm sorry what temporal, temporal squama temporal squama so now we're going to go to occipital is this the same one or we're doing a different one? We're done. Okay, we're done, done with this one.